So recently I was in the market for a new car. I was selling my old one, I had a 2006 Honda Accord. When I bought it I was not into cars and uh, when I had it I became into cars so I had to get something a little faster. You know, I went through all of my options, I looked at everything, and everything really kind of pointed me in the direction of the Golf GTI from Volkswagen. The price of the car, what the car offered, how practical it was, the good looks, decent reliability, the fact that it has a turbo. Come on. I bought it because it has a turbo, okay? I'm just gonna say it right now. I bought it because it had a turbo. No, but seriously, uh, I was definitely settled on the Volkswagen GTI Mark VI because that's kind of where my price range was. And now there are two transmission options for the Mark VI GTI. There's the dual clutch transmission and the six-speed manual. Now, I have some friends with GTIs. I'll actually link them down below because uh, they have some cool car pages and uh, one of them, the other one with the Mark VI, actually has a YouTube channel so I've linked him down below. Anyways, my friend with the Mark VI GTI got the six-speed manual and he has no regrets about it. He absolutely loves the stick shift and, you know, for the longest time I said, oh, my next car is going to be a stick shift. But when I really laid my options out, I actually found out that the DSG was just better for me. So, without further ado, here are the seven reasons that I decided to go with a dual-clutch transmission instead of a six-speed manual. Reason number one is actually pricing. Now, this one might seem like an odd one, but uh, the difference between a dual-clutch transmission and a six-speed manual in price actually isn't anything. There is no difference. So, I never had to worry whether or not I was going to be paying more money for the dual-clutch versus the six-speed manual. If it really came down to it, I think the dual-clutch transmission version is actually less appealing to most people. People really love stick shifts, and when I was searching for GTIs, all I saw was stick shifts. It was like, you know, three DSG GTIs versus 10 stick shift ones. So the fact that they are the same price just made it super easy to not have to worry about paying extra for a different transmission. Reason number two, people tend to beat on stick shifts and it's actually easier to hurt the car with a stick shift in terms of dumping the clutch. Like, the, you know, I might find one with just a ruined clutch, whereas if I found a dual clutch one, the, the clutches are completely controlled by the computer, so the computer's not gonna let you really hurt the car with the transmission. Whereas in the stick shift, it's free reign to, for you to do whatever you want, really. Reason number three, it's a freaking dual clutch transmission. I mean, how many cars can you get for this price point? I paid $7,000 for my car. How many cars can you get for that price that have a dual clutch transmission? It's just such a unique and fascinating transmission anyways. Sure, lots of cars have dual clutches, but I mean for $7,000 and you get a, a nice dual clutch, that's kind of hard to pass up. Reason number four, the fast performance. Let's face it, dual clutches are some of the fastest transmissions out there. I mean, when the Golf GTI came out with the dual clutch transmission, it was faster than any automatic out there. Now automatics are kind of throwing the fight back at dual clutches and are actually becoming faster in some cases, but still, the dual clutch transmission is snappy, fast, and it feels amazing to drive. Reason number five. Dual clutch transmissions are easy to tune, and you don't have to actually physically upgrade anything in the car. In a GTI, when you want to upgrade on power, you know, tune the engine, have it make more boost. The dual clutch transmission in its stock tune does not have the clamping force, so the transmission will slip. But all you have to do is buy a tune for the transmission, and it basically just increases the clamping force inside the transmission, and it will hold fine. Whereas in a stick shift, I would have to buy a new clutch for the car to hold that extra power, and have that new clutch installed. So it's a lot of time and money there, and overall it's just cheaper with the TCU tune. Reason number six, it's just easier to drive around town when you want to be lazy. Now, some might argue, I always want to go 100% with my car, always have fun with it, I love the stick shift, and I'm not arguing with those people, but for me personally, I just like to be lazy sometimes and not have to worry about changing gear. Or if you're in really busy traffic and want to pay attention to that traffic, it's nicer to just have the transmission do all the work for you. But again, I'm not going to fight against people with stick shifts. Stick shifts are awesome, and I know that they're super fun. And reason number seven, they just sound incredible.
This was honestly one of the main selling points for me on those dual clutch transmissions. They just sound fantastic and every time I drive my car, I can't get over that sound when I shift. Granted, you can't have like no lift shift on stick shifts, but it's really just not the same and it just makes a wonderful, wonderful noise. So yeah guys, that is my 7 reasons why I chose a dual clutch transmission over a stick shift one. I hope this helped anyone out maybe looking to buy, maybe looking to choose between a stick shift versus a dual clutch transmission. And I'm Matt Pierce. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like and all that stuff. Check out some of my other videos. I'm, I'm really doing some fun stuff on here. And I will see you later. Goodbye.